Good morning, Sean. It's lovely to welcome you to City Central Library today. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us. Would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself and maybe a little bit about uh, the kind of books that you write of as course. well? Uh, my name is Sean Armstrong. I'm obviously a writer and an author. My first book is called The Green Girl and the Serum and it's a YA science fiction novel. Who is who's the main character uh, of your book? It sounds it sounds absolutely fantastic. So I've I've had a chance to read the blurb on that book as well. It sounds amazing. Uh, so who's the main character now? But can you tell me a little bit the main about the story? His name is Stacey Roberts. She's a young woman who's been injected with a serum that has transformed her into a uh, superheroine. Fantastic. It sounds. I think it sounds like one that I'm going to have to pick up off the shelf and have a read of at some point. <laughs> definitely. So, Sean, The Green Girl and the Serum, this is your debut novel, isn't it? This is yes. your, your first uh, sort of published or released book. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans for, for further books, for future books at all? This book is a, a series of six. I have actually completed three more uh, manuscripts and I'm currently working on books five and six it, presently. That's, that's an amazing, so this is going to be part of, of quite a good series. So I, it kind of sounds like uh, it, it would be a good idea, I think, perhaps for, for somebody to, to come have a go at this book. So, you know, have a read of The Green Girl and the Serum and then, and then look out for new books coming in the, the same sort of series. I am planning to release these manuscripts once they've been edited, of course, yearly. That's fantastic. So how do you find how do you find that is with sort of keeping up with those sort of demands on writing? I suppose. In what sense? I suppose uh, you've got if if you've got given yourself a, a timetable to uh, to release once a year. Do you find you can kind of keep on top? Do you give yourself uh, a daily sort of uh, challenge to write yes, a certain yeah, amount? Yes, but I uh, like to set myself targets or goals. Brilliant. So do you, do you find do you find you manage to, to keep to those goals or occasionally <laughs> perhaps, uh, you know, one day do you kind of go, oh, no, I'm not going to do it not today? Not always. I tend to stray at times, but that's the whole part of being human, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. We are. We're, we're not machines, are we? We're not no, robots. No. And I, I don't think anybody, any robot can come up with a book uh, as good <laughs> as The Green Girl and the Serum. <laughs> so, Sean, can I ask you a question? What inspired you to become a writer? I think the reason why I became a writer is because I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to try something new and different. And writing was something that I never really did as an adult, I mean. So is that something that perhaps you would have, you might have had a go at a little bit as a child or growing up, but then kind of almost fell out of practice when, when you, as an adult in a way? In high school I did, yes. I used to yeah. write my own stories in high school. Ah, oh, that's, that's really interesting actually. It's, it's interesting to know that there's that, that sort of initial drive that's mm -hmm. perhaps just tucked away sort of underneath the surface. Mm -hmm. So, Sean, The Green Girl and the Serum is aimed at a young adult audience, isn't it? Um, is there, what, what's, the, what's the reason that you, you sort of write for a young adult audience? What's the appeal behind writing books for that spe specific audience? For me, the main aim was to, in writing for young adults, I was writing in a way for myself when I was growing up. I am a big geek. I admit that I was a, a, a geek when I was younger and I like things like uh, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, I absolutely loved that whilst I was growing up. Absolutely brilliant. So do you find that you sometimes read perhaps some of those those young ad or books aimed at a young adult audience now? I do a lot, yes. Fab. I have to admit, I, th I think that some of those books are the most exciting books that are mm -hmm. out there. They're so sort of fast paced and, and interesting. So is that something that you kind of wanted to build into a book I yourself? Oh, amazing. 
would, do you think that the green girl and the serum, do you think that that has that sort of classic young adult, perhaps that pace or the, the excitement that goes on with I the young like adult? I think so, yes. Ah, oh, brilliant. So the green girl and the serum, this is your debut novel. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a question. Have you got a favourite character from this book? And why is that character your favourite? Because I know there's quite a there's, there's quite a substantial cast here. So why is that character your favourite? For me, that would be my main character, right? Stacey Gravitz. I feel that she's my favourite character because out of all the characters in my work, she's the most human, if that makes any sense. Here's a uh, quick fact on her as well. I uh, based her character on an ex-girlfriend of mine. Oh, now that, that's quite an interesting fact. Do you think, do you think that this person might recognise themselves in this book? Perhaps, but I'd like her to. Do you think that's... Now, I've got, to, I've got to ask the question, is it is it a positive basing? Is it, you know... It was, yes. Oh, that's yes, really I good. I tried to be oh. as positive as I could with it. That's, that's <laughs> really good to know. <laughs> <laughs> now, as an author, I always think that, that perhaps authors are also the biggest readers. So do you perhaps have... Do, do you have any uh, sort of favourite books, favourite authors, favourite writers that, that you love exploring uh, and that you love reading? At the moment, I've got a, a long list of authors. So I won't go into too much detail, but I like uh, authors like, uh, for instance, say, uh, uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Absolutely fantastic choice. Is there... What, what sort of... What draws you to talk? Because, I mean, Tolkien writes some incredibly complex kind of worlds. I mean, what, what is it that draws you to, to Tolkien's work? I like he, his style of writing, the uh, choice of words that he uses. He does have a beautiful sort of way with language mm -hmm. and, and sort of description and sort of leading you through some of those mm -hmm. those amazing worlds what, what about other authors? i mean that's and i know that you've told us that you were you know in your own words you were a bit of a geek growing up so i mean tolkien that that really fits with the bill mm -hmm. um what about other authors you know who else do you like reading i absolutely love ray bradbury i oh, love the, yeah. some of his work as well uh like for instance fahrenheit 451 Brilliant book. Really, really good choice. What about so you've got so you've got there you've got a good a really sort of classic fantasy author mm -hmm. uh, and you've got a pretty much a, a dystopian kind of author there. Mm -hmm. I have to admit I'm I'm properly with the you on, on the dystopia. Authors, in my opinion. That's it. So do you write? Do you read uh, sort of young adult sort of stories as well? Do you do you quite like that genre to read? I've recently finished a uh, a monster calls by Patrick Ness. Yeah. Again, beautifully written book. And do you think that you have elements where you can you can almost learn from those writers? That, so you, as you read, and you obviously read very widely in lots of different genres, mm -hmm. do you find that you can take inspiration from those authors? Oh, gosh, yes, yes, yes. And, and do you think you've perhaps built some of those, some of those sort of traits or uh, sort of little skill sets that you've perhaps picked up from, from some very famous authors into perhaps the, the Green Girl and the Serum as well? Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely. Fantastic. I'm very much I looking like forward to, to it. I wouldn't say steal, but I like to borrow. We use inspiration, don't we? I think yes. like all, all writers will use some inspiration mm -hmm. from, from those that have, have gone before, perhaps. 